In this video, I will introduce you to the top 10 incredibly useful features of Android that you probably didn't know about. By the end of this video, you'll discover how to effortlessly zoom in on any part of your device's screen. Read WhatsApp messages, even after the sender has deleted them for everyone and effortlessly identifying incoming calls without even glancing at your screen without installing any additional application get ready to unlock the full potential of your android device starting with the first feature app pinning app pinning is a feature on android devices that allows you to lock an app to the screen preventing it from being closed or switched to another app this feature has various benefits including to keep children or other users from accidentally closing or switching away from an app. For example, you can pin a kid's game app so that they can't accidentally close it and open something else. To prevent someone from accessing other apps on your device while you're lending it to them. For example, you can pin a map app so that they can't accidentally open your email or social media apps. To enable this feature, follow these steps. Open the settings application. Scroll down and tap on the security option. Click on more security settings. Find the app pinning option and read the instructions and enable it. To pin an app, perform the following steps. Open the application you want to pin. Open the recent apps menu. Tap on the app icon and click on the pin option. Once the app is pinned, you won't be able to access other applications until you enter your lock screen password. To unpin the app, swipe up and hold. Magnification Display The magnification feature in Android allows users with visual impairments to zoom in anywhere on the screen, making content more readable and accessible. Here's how to enable magnification on Android devices. Open the Settings app on your Android device. Navigate to Accessibility. Look for Magnification or Magnification Gestures. The name of the option may vary depending on the device in Android version. Toggle the switch to enable magnification. And read the instructions. Now you can zoom anywhere on your screen by taping on that magnification icon. This feature is incredibly useful when you encounter very tiny text or content on your display. In the magnification settings, you can also choose the magnification type and magnify your display as desired. Caller ID Announcement Imagine getting information about who is calling you without even looking at your phone's screen. This feature is called Caller ID Announcement, and you can enable it on any Android phone that comes with Google Dialer. Here's how you can enable it. Open the Dialer application. Click on the three dots in the top right corner, and then click on the settings. Scroll to the bottom and tap on Caller ID Announcement. Here, you can select the options for when to announce the caller's name. Incoming voice call from David. Select to speak. Select to speak is another useful feature of Android that reads any text on your screen by simply selecting the area. Here's how you can enable it. Open the settings and navigate to accessibility. Tap on select to speak. Enable the shortcut. Go back to the home screen. To see how it works, open any article or website that displays some text. Click on the shortcut icon and select the area that you want to hear. I'm going to tell you a few things you already know. Every time you open your phone or your computer, your brain is walking onto a battleground. The aggressors are the architects of your digital world. Their weaponry are the apps, news feeds, and notifications in your field of view every time you look at a screen. You can also customize it further by selecting different languages, adjusting speed, pitch, and more.
guest mode or multiple users. The guest mode and multiple users features in Android provide several benefits that enhance the user experience and improve device security. Here are some of the key advantages. Work and personal life separation. An individual who uses their smartphone for both work and personal purposes can set up separate profiles for each, ensuring that work-related apps and data are kept secure and isolated from personal use, enhancing productivity and data privacy. Family sharing. In a household where parents and children share the same tablet or smartphone, multiple users feature allow each family member to have their own customized experience with personalized apps, wallpapers, and settings. Privacy with guests. When having guests over and sharing your phone or tablet for entertainment purposes, using guest mode ensures that your private messages, photos, and emails are not accessible, preserving your privacy while still being a gracious host. To use this feature, open the settings and search or locate multiple users and enable it. Here you can add new users or guest profiles. You can also control call and SMS functionality and set up your new profile. Notification History Notification History in Android provides a log of past notifications from different apps, allowing users to review missed or dismissed notifications and access important information they might have overlooked in real time, but its availability varies based on Android version and manufacturer customization. To turn on the Notification History feature on your device, open the settings and search for Notification History. After finding the option, click on it and enable the notification history toggle. Here, you can access all your notifications from the past 24 hours. Automatic dark mode. Dark mode is a pretty common feature in today's apps and operating systems, offering numerous benefits to users. One of the primary advantages of dark mode is its ability to reduce eye strain and fatigue particularly when using devices in low-light conditions. The darker color scheme puts less strain on the eyes, making it easier to read and interact with the content. Another benefit of dark mode is its potential to save battery, especially on devices with OLED or AMOLED screens, since these screens can turn off individual pixels in dark mode. If you're using an Android device, you can automate your dark mode activation based on the time of day and sunset. To set up automatic dark mode in your device, open the settings. Go to the display settings. Instructions may vary slightly depending on the Android version and device manufacturer. Tab on dark mode. Here, you can find the schedule option. Click on it. Now, you can set your dark mode to enable based on your customized timing, and you can also set it to enable from sunset to sunrise. Do not disturb. Do not disturb or DND is a well-known and handy feature in Android that we often overlook, resorting instead to simply silencing our phones. However, DND proves invaluable when you want uninterrupted focus without missing important calls or messages, especially from essential contacts like your parents. To enable DND, swipe down to access the quick settings toggles and long press on the do not disturb option. Alternatively, you can find it in your device settings. Once you are inside the DND settings, you'll see various options. Click on people and then call to decide which calls can interrupt you. For instance, if you want your phone to ring only for specific individuals, tap the settings icon next to start contacts and click the plus icon. Simply tap the star icon next to the contact names and go back. Now, when you activate do not disturb mode, your phone will only ring for calls coming from start contacts. You can apply the same settings for messages too. Feel free to explore more options in this menu for further customization. Accessibility menu. The accessibility menu in Android is a feature similar to iOS Assistive Touch. It provides a convenient window for controlling various device functions such as volume and brightness adjustment, taking screenshots, accessing the assistant, and more. To enable this feature, Open the settings on your device. Navigate to Accessibility. Look for Accessibility menu and tap on it. Enable the shortcut option. 
Now, you can start using it by tapping the shortcut icon. The Accessibility menu grants you access to a range of functionalities, making it useful if your volume button is broken. You can effortlessly control the volume and even lock your screen without using the physical buttons. With the Accessibility menu, managing your device becomes more convenient, offering you quick access to essential functions and making it easier to interact with your Android device. Caffeine Toggle is an incredibly convenient feature that comes with many custom ROM, allowing you to prevent the screen from automatically turning off while reading a paragraph or completing a task that takes a few minutes. By simply tapping the Caffeine Toggle, you can easily adjust the screen sleep time without navigating to your device display settings. To add this toggle to your Quick Settings menu, swipe down to access your Quick Settings menu and tap on the Edit icon. Here, you will find a variety of options. Look for the Caffeine option and add it to your Quick Settings menu. Once you have done this, open your Quick Settings menu and tap on the Caffeine toggle. From here, you can adjust your screen sleep time only once to prevent it from automatically turning off based on your device's default screen timeout setting. For example, I have set it to 10 minutes. So now my screen will not turn off for 10 minutes after an activity. However, you can still manually turn it off by pressing the power button. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found these Android features helpful and informative. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Feel free to share this video with your friends who might benefit from these awesome Android tips. If you have any questions or want to suggest topics for future videos, let us know in the comments below.